So back with my Vespa PX125 that I converted to electric with retrospective scooters EV kit. Um, this is a bit of an update video. So I've made a couple changes since I finished this. Um, first of all, it's been fantastic. Really enjoyed riding it. One of the things I added though was I, this used to be the oil glass where you could view the oil level, um, which of course is irrelevant now. So now I put a charging port there so I can charge up my batteries without uh, actually having to take them out or having to lift the seat or anything like that. And I said batteries because I now have a second battery. That was the other change I made. Uh, it was fine with one battery. I was very happy with the power, but I decided that um, I want a little bit more range. So I added a second battery. It goes in this in this side of the bike where the engine used to be. Um, so retrospective scooters uh, provides this mounting tray here, which bolts in here, here, and also to the where the engine. Uh, bolt used to go and then it just battery slots in here there's a little rubber thing to keep it in place and then I have the uh, charging cable hooked up which is now on a Y adapter and uh, of course the other <clears throat> I had to run another power cable to the controller and then if I look up here you can see here's my so I have the two batteries here and here and now my range is theoretically about 60 miles or about 100K, um, but that's not, I haven't actually confirmed that because um, I don't really feel like running it down to zero. One other modification I made um, since I did the original install is that I wasn't really happy with the, uh, basically the crimp connectors that I had used between um, the rear indicators and the wiring loom. So every time I removed the side panels, I would have to disconnect those. I didn't really like that. I wanted something that was a bit more robust, easier to use um, and waterproof. So I just picked up a set of these. Um, wasn't that much money. Can hold the pins, everything I need, little rubber grommets for the wires and um, put those on. And so now that's a slight improvement so a couple people have asked me about uh, doing a video while driving to show what it's like. Um, as soon as I get a GoPro, um, I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, one other thing that is very important that I've been able to do is that I've now officially changed this to an electric vehicle with the DVLA. Um, so that for anything outside the UK, that's basically the, um, the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority. Um, so this was registered, of course, as a petrol or gas um, vehicle. It is now officially registered as an electric vehicle. That was a bit of a lengthy process, but it wasn't overly difficult. So retrospective scooters supplied a letter basically explaining uh, the conversion. I then posted that off to the DVLA with uh, my V5C, which is the, basically the registration document for the vehicle. Um, then they had some questions and went back to retrospective scooters about that. And then finally, uh, they sent an inspector out to check it out and basically to verify that, you know, check the, the, the VIN number, so the vehicle number, um, to check that basically everything I had said was, um, you know, that we put in the documents was correct, that it was indeed an electric vehicle now, that the petrol engine had been removed. And then basically a week or two later, I'd say, um, it was officially changed in the DVLA system, and I received the updated V5C uh, not too much longer after. So this is now officially an electric vehicle. Um, as this was a 2008 model, it was already a Euro 3 uh, scooter, so it actually didn't have any problems with um, various, let's say, ultra low emission zones, things like that. Um, but my feeling was basically at some point, the standards are gonna change and they're gonna raise the bar. So now this is essentially future-proofed. Um, it's also gonna save me 21 pounds a year on vehicle tax. Um, so not a massive amount, uh, but you know, every little helps. So 
yep so that's it for now um as soon as i get a gopro i'll do a few videos uh, while riding and post those and give you all an update